Okay, uh, let's look at the homework 11, problem number 5. All right, so we have this uh, symmetric matrix, um, so A, H, uh, H, B. All right, then uh, we want to find the, let's see, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And uh, let's do that, all right? So set up the same. So you have, uh, we want to find a determinant of A minus lambda H and you have another H and a B minus lambda, right? And we want this to be zero, right? So what you get is, uh, let's say uh, you multiply these two. I'm gonna go ahead and multiply out. So A times uh, B is AB, right? Then you have a minus, uh, you have a A times a negative lambda gives you negative A lambda and negative lambda times b, so it's gonna be an, uh, a plus b lambda, right? Then lambda a negative lambda times negative lambda is plus lambda squared, right? Then we have minus uh, h times h, so h squared, right? So uh, this is gonna be equal to, let's clean this up a bit. Um, you have, so I'm gonna put the h, squ uh, sorry, lambda squared first, right? And minus uh, quantity a plus b lambda, right? Then you have plus um, a b minus uh, h squared, right? So we want this to be zero, right? So this is just a quadratic equation in lambda. So let's use a quadratic formula. So lambda is equal to negative that, so it's gonna be uh, a plus b, and plus or minus square root of, all right, uh, b squared. So that's going to be, so this guy is squared. So I'll just say a plus b squared minus four times uh, AC, so I'll multiply by that, so four AB plus uh, four H squared, right? Just the um, quadratic formula, and divided by two times A is one, so it's two, right? So we have that. Then uh, you can just uh, simplify this part, and uh, maybe I'll do that on the side here. So here, the discriminant part, so this is gonna be equal to, right, if you multiply out, you're gonna get uh, a squared plus two ab plus b squared. Then you're subtracting uh, four ab, then you're adding 4h squared, right? Which is going to be, all right? So I'm gonna just say, uh, let's see. So you have, uh, we can combine these two guys. So 2ab and a negative 4ab, all right? So that's gonna give you a negative 2ab, all right? Then you have uh, a squared and uh, you have b squared and a plus four h squared, all right? And, but here, this is exactly the same thing as quantity a minus b squared. So this is going to be, so maybe I will write it here. So this is going to be, all right? So a plus b plus or minus square root of, all right? So this is just uh, a minus b quantity squared, and you have a plus 4h squared, all right? Now we can see that um, the lambda value, so eigenvalue is real, because you can see that uh, discriminant here is going to be uh, non-negative, so it's got the square there, and it's got the square there. So this is never negative. Therefore, it's gonna be a real number. So maybe I should say, this is a real number, all right? All right, so this basically answers the um, uh, part B. So uh, we're done with uh, part B, all right? 
Then, but we need uh, so we found that uh, eigenvalues too, right? Then how about the eigenvectors, right? So we need to put this, uh, there are a couple of uh, plus version and a negative version. So let's do a, a positive version, right? So lambda one is going to be, right? A plus B, right? Plus square root of, uh, quantity a minus b squared uh, plus 4h squared and divided by 2 right all right then we just uh, put this guy in this uh, expression here so we know that uh, let's see so you have a, a minus all right a minus this guy is going to be all right, a minus lambda one would be a is two a over two, so it's going to be um, uh, just a over two, All right? And it's going to be minus b and a minus square root of same thing. So a minus b squared plus four h squared, All right? Then you have H, right? Then we, we don't really have to know uh, these guys. So this is gonna be H, right? You don't really need to know this guy because uh, it's gonna be equivalent to the first equation. So we basically have equation, say um, X1 and uh, Y1 is equal to uh, zero, zero, all right? So uh, this will give you uh, this equation. So it's kind of strange, but uh, you have uh, this times that gives you a minus b minus square root of quantity a minus b squared plus 4h squared all over 2 times x1 and the plus uh, h times y1 and this is equal to zero all right then if you solve for uh, y1 uh, this is going to look uh, like this y1 is going to be equal to all right so you have uh, here's x1 so you have to subtract so it's going to be minus a minus b minus square root of uh, quantity a minus b squared plus 4h squared over 2 then you divide through by h so you're gonna get that all right so using this condition uh, we can set uh, you know uh, first eigenvector to v I'm gonna put uh, v1 all right uh, to make our lives e easier, um, I don't like fraction here, so I'm going to set, uh, say, and I don't like negative sign either, so I'm going to set h1 to be negative 2h, so h, uh, x1 to be negative 2h, right? That way, um, the uh, y1 is going to be, so if you put negative 2h, that cancel out, and the 2h cancel out, you are left with uh, a, minus b minus square root of a minus b squared plus 4h squared All right so this is the um, uh, eigenvector corresponding to uh, eigenvalue uh, lambda 1 All right so you can do the same process with the um, lambda 2, which is going to be a plus b minus square root of uh, quantity a minus b squared plus 4h squared all over 2. And then you get the corresponding eigenvector uh, v2, right? So once you've done that, uh, you'll be done with the uh, part a. You got eigenvectors, right? They're showing that the eigenvectors are perpendicular. All you really have to do is just to show, uh, show that uh, just do a dot product between V1 and V2 and show that this is actually equal to zero, right? 
Um, that's it. I hope that uh, this will get you going.